confirmation that three Britons were amongst the seven killed in that strike uh, on World Central Kitchen vehicles in Gaza. We can go to our Middle East correspondent, Alistair Bunkle, who joins us now from Jerusalem. Alistair, bring us the latest. Yeah, Matt, um, the Foreign Secretary, Lord Cameron, in his uh, statement earlier today, hinted uh, at this possible outcome by referring to British nationals, uh, plural, caught up in the incident last night. But the Foreign Office and the British Consulate here in Jerusalem have been working hard to try and establish uh, exactly what happened and the identities of those involved. And of course, it's very important that the, the families, the next of kin of those killed are informed before it is made public. But World Central Kitchen, uh, the charity for whom uh, the seven, including the three Britons, worked for, has now confirmed that, as I say, three of those killed uh, were Britons, uh, an Australian, uh, a Polish national and a uh, Palestinian, uh, some of the others. But this is a very, very serious incident indeed. Israel has now admitted responsibility uh, for the deaths. It was not just a single airstrike. Uh, all three vehicles in that convoy were hit by missiles. We don't yet know why. We have to assume that it was a case of mistaken identity and a massive intelligence failure. But World Central Kitchen say that they coordinated with the IDF, they notified them of the route uh, of the vehicles, where they would be in what's called a deconfliction measure. Uh, the point being is that you're supposed to protect yourself against anything like this. The investigation that the Israeli military has now launched will have to establish, therefore, why the aircraft, whether it's a drone or a fighter jet, uh, decided to fire upon all three of these vehicles. And we will see what the repercussions are, because I suspect and I, I think we will get um, further detail from the British government, possibly within the hour, uh, as to maybe more information about the three people killed. I suspect that the British government will now come under pressure to take some sort of reaction, uh, action itself, uh, particularly as we've seen, uh, and this might be sort of, you know, jumping around corners, but particularly as we've seen reports over the weekend that the Foreign Office has been given legal advice that it believes that Israel could be violating international law. Well, will that prompt and this together prompt the British government to take action against the Israelis? We'll have to see. We will indeed, Alistair. Thank you very much indeed.